What's up, everybody? It's Devin. Today, I made a small collection purchase um, from somebody who watches and subscribes on the YouTube channel. So first of all, shout out to Joshua. He watches some videos, hit me up a while back, uh, emailed me about one card he was selling, a Tom Brady rookie auto. We ended up making a deal on that. He had an, I ended up having a card that he was interested in trading for. Um, and we worked on, he had a bunch of stuff, smaller stuff he wanted to trade into a larger item that I had. Um, and we priced out and did values for everything that trade ended up not working out, um, which was okay. He ended up saying, do I want to buy any of that stuff that we were looking at in trade? So I ended up making an offer, I think on like 35 to 40 different items, sent him a huge lift. Uh, I listed everything out. I said what I would pay, what I thought the estimated value would be. I sent it to him. He picked out some cards he wanted to keep for himself. Um, maybe he thought the values were a little bit too low. The sale price was a little bit too low that he was comfortable with. I ended up selling 24 of the cards to me. Super easy transaction. Um, it was a lot of fun dealing with it. So appreciate you working with me, Joshua. Um, if anybody is interested before I get into this collection and I showcase you showcase to you what i bought if you're ever interested in selling with me trading for something i have uh anything of that nature you got any card related questions feel free to reach out via my email that's the easiest way to get a hold of me um it's easy for me to to respond to emails specifically rather than texts or messages through social media through social media um i'll put the email at the bottom of the screen it is tradingcardbrothers10 at gmail.com I believe it's also listed in the description of videos, but if it's not, you can just go back to this part of the video where I list it out and I put it on the screen. So that is that. This collection was 24 cards. Ended up being, I spent a total of $1,052. Uh, I paid using PayPal goods and services. So Joshua netted $1,020 uh, before his shipping costs. Out of the 24 cards, 17 of them were Tom Brady cards. There's a good amount of like memorabilia. A lot of it was game used, uh, which was the intriguing thing about it. A lot of it is slabbed up, but a lot of it is SGC or lower grades. There's not a ton of like high grades. Um, but 17 of the 24 cards are Tom Brady. And then the rest is definitely some cool stuff, but I'll go everything. I'll go through everything. This is going to be like, an in-depth video um so i will say everything to you guys i'll say what i valued it at what i ended up paying for that specific card what i ended up paying and valuing everything at in this whole entire collection um so you guys can kind of see everything like i said joshua got everything that you guys are going to get is what joshua looked at before he accepted the offer um it was really easy to work with so thanks again to joshua and here are, I didn't get any of this stuff out ahead of time. I thought it'd be fun to be like a true showcase of the mail day and the collection. This was the one loan big card. Not valuable, but physically big. Good packaging, by the way. I can appreciate that. Shipped in a large flat rate. Everything is well protected. appreciate that I'm working out a bigger deal I think that entire stack right there was SGC if I remember correctly the Brady that he was looking to trade with me for was a Bowman Chrome Rookie BGS 9.5, I think was the one. Maybe I'm mistaken. But if it was that one, it was a true gem from BGS Plus. So I had three 9.5s and a 10. All right. I'll go through this the best that I can. These are going to be out of order from what I had my spreadsheet in. So it just might take me a second when looking up some of these cards, um, but I will do my best. So first up, this 1947 
uh, exhibits Hank Aaron. This is going to be an SGC4 on the Hank. This one, uh, I paid $90. We had valued at $120. So like I said, the majority of this stuff is SGC, I think. Actually, all of it might be. I don't know if there's any PSA now that I think about. I think it's all SGC, if I remember correctly. Uh, so that was a nice Hank Aaron thrown in there. Like I said, that was paid 90 valued at 120 a dual game used jersey, 2002 SP Authentic, Patrick Ramsey and Tom Brady threads double, graded in SGC 85. Both of these game used. Ooh, I take that back. Oh, Tom Brady is an official NFL game. Uh, Patrick Ramsey was at the rookie premiere. So Brady was game worn for his. Uh, this SGC A5, I had valued at $60 and I paid $40. There was two of these. There should be an SGC 8 of that. Yeah, we'll just find that real quick. Exact same card. Same thing. Brady is game worn. Patrick Ramsey um, was not game worn, was at the rookie premiere. SGC 8 copy, I valued slightly lower. Uh, the SGC 8, I paid $35 and I valued at $55. So $35 and $55 were the numbers on the SGC 8 duel. Hard to pass up a lot like this. I mean, 17 cards being Tom Brady. Um, typically I will say this, I would typically pass up on a SGC lot of 24 cards. The only reason why I was willing to do this lot, uh, is because it was basically all Brady game used Jersey pieces, uh, X fractors. It just was the right people. Um, tougher to move SGC personally, or you just got to move much less than what the PSA variant is, but that's okay. 2004 upper deck S. PX Swatch Supremacy SGC 9 there on this Brady. And then, yep, that one's game worn. Just double checking. I think, like I said, the majority should be game worn. There might be one or two that is not. Uh, but the 04. Let's see. This is definitely one of the better ones. Uh, I paid $75 for the Swatch Supremacy and I valued at 100 so paid 75 valued at 100 Michael Jordan. There was a couple Jordans in here. These were super cheap from what I could see. 1991-92 um, upper deck. This is award winner hologram. This one graded in SGC 8. Uh, this Jordan and the other Jordan. I paid $8 and I valued at 15 Paid 8 valued at 15 for this MJ. And then the next one, I couldn't really find if there was a price difference. From what I could tell, they seem very similar in value. This is going to be the 92-93 Upper Deck Award Winner Hologram. This is going to be AW9 uh, for this card number, SGC85. Same thing as the other Jordan. I paid $8, and I valued at $15. Paid $8, valued at $15. Another Brady game used... This is going to be 2014 totally certified Epix play material. The E in Epix is a jersey piece. SGC 85 here. And this Epix material, I paid 30, valuing at 50. Game worn. Cool. Game worn down there. So paid 30, valued at 50 for the Epix Tom Brady. There's a couple duels too. I want to say there's like four or five different ones, which is definitely unique, which is kind of cool. This one's a 2003 playoff prestige. Uh, league leaders, dual jerseys of uh, Kerry Collins and Tom Brady. This one's actually serial numbered on the back. 38 out of 250. Both are game worn in this scenario. Graded in an SGC 9. This SGC9, I paid $40, valued at $60. Paid $40, valued at $60. A 
little Steve McNair. I think this was my favorite duel out of other uh, out of the out of the few different ones. Steve McNair was actually some that I used to grow up watching for the Titans. Uh, 2004 playoff prestige, McNair and Brady league leaders, materials. Also, same thing. This is going to be serial number out of 250, 162 out of 250. And then, let's see, both are game-worn as well. So, game-worn for Steve McNair and Tom Brady. Graded in SGC 9. Always will take SGC 9s. Those are sick. Uh, same thing here. Paid $40, valued at 60 Paid 40 valued at 60 Tom Brady. It's going to be 2005 Upper Deck Reflections, Fabric Reflections. You got a white jersey piece there. SGC 8. Don't believe this one is serial numbered. And this one is game used also. So game used there on the Brady SGC 8. Uh, the 2005 Reflections. This one I paid $60 and I valued at 80 Paid 60 valued at 80 Tom Brady, 2011. I don't know if you can see he's got some flow there coming out of the back of the helmet. That's an old picture of Brady. 2011 Prestige, stars the NFL material. This one's going to be serial numbered. 225 out of 250. SGC 7 on the grade. Definitely a small window there for the jersey. And that is game worn also. So game worn on that. Prestige from 2011. This one was on the cheaper side because of the grade. Uh, seven was definitely on the lower side of the grades that we saw. This one I paid $20 and I valued at 40. So paid 20, valued at 40. Another Brady. Basically all this lot is. Like I said, 17 of the 24 cards are Brady. The majority are memorabilia and then the rest of them are going to be x-fractors and a few other names but definitely a fun lot to pick up by the way i don't know if you guys can tell that through a video um or not through an audio and not seeing my facial expressions but it's kind of cool you know everybody talks about in the modern era of trading cards right now that like being duped with player worn or event worn or is not associated with any game event or player um these are all guaranteeing that they were game worn by brady i mean that's i think there's like 10 different game worn pieces of tom brady i mean that's just like that's something that's really cool and unique this is why it's really fun to pick up a lot like this. So I'm very excited to be able to make a video like this. I haven't been too excited about a lot purchase recently. This is definitely one that I was very excited about. Next one up, 2005 Upper Deck. Sports Center Swatches. Da -da -da, da -da -da. SGC 8. You got the little E uh, for ESPN is the jersey piece. And this one is, let's see, Game Worn. Awesome. So the 05 Sports Center. I paid 40 on this Brady and I valued at 60. So paid 40, valued at 60, which a lot of them valued around that 40 to $80 range for these memorabilia pieces. That's where the majority of them landed at. Last one for this stack, 07 Fleer Ultra, Field General's jersey. I think this was one of my more favorite card designs that they had. I think that little patch window or jersey window, I should say, um, was definitely more creative than some of the other ones. I did like the Sports Center one with the ESPN. I thought that was creative, but I like I like this Fleer Ultra one. SGC 7 on this Brady. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, game worn. Beautiful. Game worn on that Brady. And then this Brady, let's see, value wise. This one was on the lower side. I paid $20 and I valued at 40. Paid 20, valued 40. Also, 
if you didn't catch this at the beginning of the video, if you're ever looking to make a deal uh, and you're interested in selling a large collection, one single card, feel free to email me. Uh, the email will be on the screen, tradingcardbrothers10 at gmail.com. One thing I want to make sure to note is when I dealt with Joshua on this deal specifically, there was more cars in the 24 that I had offered on. I think one thing that's a little unique uh, for me compared to some other people is I don't care if you take out some of the cars you want to keep for yourself. This is not an all or nothing when you send me a collection. Obviously, I'd love to purchase everything that is sent my way, but uh, I think that was one thing that made the deal really easy with Joshua is I had offered, like I said, on like 35 to 40. He pulled out what he wanted to keep and sold what he was comfortable with, and we made the deal really easy from there. So don't be afraid to send me a large lot. I can price it out for you, tell you what I pay, and then you can tell me what you're comfortable or not comfortable with. Um, definitely, definitely don't get my feelings hurt when people tell me no. Uh, to a price I offer. Next up, now we get into some X Fractors of Tom Brady. 2014 Topps Chrome X Fractor Tom Brady SGC 85. This year is non numbered. So that's a non numbered X Fractor from 2014 Topps Chrome. Uh, this one, let's see. This one was, I think, the cheapest X Fractor out of the whole bunch. I paid $11 and I valued at $25. So paid $11, valued at $25 for this Brady. Two thousand four Bowman Chrome X Fractor. This is going to be serial numbered out of two hundred and fifty. Thirty-seven out of two hundred fifty down there, as an SGC eight. I think this was the most expensive card of the whole lot it is i paid 170 for this brady and i valued at 220 so paid 170 valued at 220 i think this is if i remember correctly also the only brady x fractor that is serial numbered i think that's why it was so high compared to the rest so 04 bowman chrome out of 250 Got a couple Brady rookies on the cheaper side, mainly due to the grades. But this is going to be a 2000 Skybox Impact Brady card number 227. SGC 5 on the grade. Definitely a low grade uh, when it comes to a Brady rookie. This one I paid $30 and I valued at $50. Paid $30, valued at $50. Another Brady rookie. This is going to be 2000 Press Pass uh, Torkers Parallel SGC 8 on the grade in his Michigan uniform. This Brady I paid $50 and I valued at $70. Paid $50, valued at $70. More X Fractor of Brady 2010 Tops Chrome X Fractor graded an SGC 9. This Brady I paid $30 valued at 50. So paid 30 valued at 50. Sneaking a couple Jim Browns in here. This is me 2001 Upper Deck Game Gear. This is a uniform. Um, when he was playing with the Browns, SGC 8.5. I'm fairly certain this is game used, which is pretty sweet. Uh, official NFL game by Jim Brown. I mean, this lot, as you can see going through it, it's just all the cool stuff. Cool names, game used, parallels, all graded. Granted, I wish some of them were better. Some SGC 9.5s or 10s would be great. Um, but... The cars themselves, I will not make any complaints about. I mean, that's just such a clean-looking card right there of Jim Brown. Uh, this one specifically, let's see if I can pull up Jim Brown. He was on the cheaper side, but I paid $15, and I valued at $30. Paid $15, valued $30. 
little vintage action, 1959 Jim Brown. This is going to be 1959 Tops, Jimmy Brown, SGC2. It's actually decently centered for an SGC2. Obviously, there is some flaws to the card. I think there's a little bit of a crease in the top right, if you can see it. Get it at the right angle. Um, but SGC2, I thought it was a decent looking SGC2. This one I paid $75 and I valued at $100. Paid 75, valued at 100 for that Jim Brown. Never can go, I shouldn't say never. You can go wrong with Otani depending on the timing. But at this point in time right now when I'm recording this video, which is early part of May, he is cleared of the gambling drama that was with um, his interpreter, Ipe. Um, and at the moment he's in the clear of everything and he's playing some really good baseball. Dodgers are playing some good baseball. So I think good time to have some Otani rookies. Uh, this is an early one, 2013, his BBM, uh, rookie edition then and now with, uh, Yoshikawa and Otani graded a lower grade SGC seven. Um, so definitely on the lower side, but this one at the time that I bought this lot, I paid 30 and I valued at 50. Paid 30, valued at 50. I'd be curious to see if that maintained, if it decreased or increased. I know he's been pretty volatile depending on what the news has been saying about him. Um, so very curious about that one. I think Brady should have maintained pretty good. And then uh, some of the other guys like the Jim Brown um, should have maintained also. Another one of the Brady's, we had an SGC5 of this exact card earlier. Now we got an SGC7, 2000 Skybox Impact Brady, card number 27, rookie here for him. Uh, this one was definitely valued higher than the SGC5. I paid 55 here and I valued at 75. So paid 55, valued at 75. Another Jim Brown Vintage 1960. 1960 on this Jim Brown. Uh, 1960 tops, card number 23, Jimmy Brown. I do think it's funny how some cards say Jimmy Brown, some say Jim Brown. Uh, like the 59 said Jimmy. I think the memorabilia says Jim. Yep, memorabilia says Jim. So definitely cool. There's a couple of players that I've seen that. Um, they have either full names or little bit of different names in previous cards, which is kind of cool in my opinion. But 1960 tops, Jimmy Brown, Jim Brown, card number 23, SGC 1.5. So definitely on the lower side here for the Jim Brown. This Jim, I paid $40 and I valued at 60. Paid 40, valued at 60. And then the final Brady, we're going to end, I'm assuming, another game used here. This was the lowest serial numbered um, for a Brady uh, for the memorabilia. This is 2017 playoff. Um, so we're going into Panini here. 2017 playoff air command material. Serial numbered out of 99. 59 out of 99. Super small jersey window. That might be one of the smallest out of any of the cards. Graded in SGC 8. It is game used. So all of the Brady, I can confirm after looking at the cards in depth, they are all game-worn Brady pieces, which is awesome. Uh, this Brady, I paid $40, and I valued at $60. Paid $40, valued at $60. So that was all 24 items. Let's make sure we got 24 here, I'm pretty sure. You guys are literally looking at it for the first time with me. I didn't open this up prior Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and then the jumbo card is twenty-four. So we got all twenty-four cards safe and sound, all in sleeves. Shout out to Joshua for the good shipping taking good care of these cards so breakdowns if anybody is curious um the total that i paid was 1052 
The total that I valued everything at was 1545. Now, some of this stuff was really hard to put a value on with being SGC 7s, 8s, 8 fives. There wasn't necessarily sales of that exact card. So I was basing it off of RAWs, basing it off of PSA sales. So some of the stuff is truly me guessing what I think the value would be. So I'm curious to see what it'll end up being at the end of the day. This is what, if you're curious about percentages, if you're a percentage person, uh, 1052 is what I paid. 1545 is what I valued. So it was roughly 68% across the board. The value of 1052, there was 24 cards. The rough estimate of value is around $44 a card. As low as $15 was the cheapest value I gave, and $220 was the highest value that I gave. So that was everything about this purchase, specifically really fun lot to purchase. It's definitely kind of a refreshing um video for me compared to some of the other lots that i buy a lot of it is is the shiny new modern stuff that you gotta sell quick um you gotta hit while it's hot this i could hang on to for the next 20 years and i'm sure i'd be perfectly fine hanging on to every single one of these cards so that's kind of fun going through a lot like this um and being able to have so many tom brady game use memorabilia very very fair market values um so definitely excited about this lot Thank you again to Joshua. Again, if anybody is ever interested in selling to me, trading, asking questions, please reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer in a timely manner. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day and don't forget to smile. Later, guys.